have tracked down the man, the myth, the legend, the one and only Dax Milne of the Washington Commanders. Dax, first and foremost, congratulations on a wild, crazy win against the Green Bay Packers. Thank you. It was very fun to be a part of. Uh, got scary at the end, but uh, it was, it was an exciting game for sure. How do you handle the nerves of a game like that, especially when you're the punt returner and your role is so critical in the fourth quarter in a close game like that? Right. Um, you know, it can definitely be overseen at times how, how tough and how important my job is to, you know, get the possession of the ball. You can you saw it on, on their side. They had a muff punt, um, and we it put us in great position. Uh, so it's – it's definitely pressure, but I'm, I'm a very confident guy going back there and uh, making the play. When did you, as the primary punt returner for the Commanders, first become a thing? Uh, it was right after the last preseason game. Uh, I kind of proved that I could do it throughout the preseason. Um, I didn't. I didn't really know what direction they were thinking as far as the returner, but once the last preseason ended, I they named me the guy, and and I was ready to just do whatever this team needed. When do you overcome the nerves of something like that? Or have you have you overcome a scenario like that? Oh, you never overcome the nerves. <laughs> uh, for me, it's just it's a lot of self-talk, um, uh, mental toughness. And, and, I, and I think uh, I owe that to every coach I've had just growing up in, in any sport I've played. It's, it's an, always an ongoing process of how to, you know, stay mentally tough and, and ready for those kind of kind of situations and so I'm uh, I'm proud of myself for how I handled it. Walk me through your mental checklist when you run out on the field. Is there like a bullet point thing that you're going down? Yeah. Um, obviously what the return what turn it uh, sorry what direction the return is. Um, and then I look and see you know what the gunners are look uh, looking like and then I always try to see the ball uh, right off the, the punter's foot. And so once once the ball's in the air, then there's another kind of checklist, kind of take a peek, see uh, you know how how deep they're getting, how fast they're coming at me, how high the ball is. Um, so it, it's a lot that goes on really fast, but with with reps and experience, it, it gets easier. How would you uh, define your role on this specific team this year? Uh, man, offensively, uh, I think I'm a. Uh, a reliable guy that can just come in and, and know what to do on on every play. Um, if someone goes down, I they can plug me right in wherever. Um, and then, like we've talked about on special teams, just being the same type of dude, reliable. Um, I can make plays whenever I need to make plays. So I watched you play the Chiefs here last year. Now you're in year two. What's been the biggest difference for you in your NFL career going from year one as a rookie to year number two? Yeah. Um, Feels a lot different uh, mentally. Um, a lot more confident and um, just so much knowledge. You know, as you as you, you think you know a lot of football and coming out of college and then rookie year, you get hit with a lot. And so now it's like it all starts slowing down. Um, so I'm I'm feeling confident these days and and re and ready for whatever. Less picking up the check at expensive restaurants and stuff like that. And that comes along with it, you know. So if we're going to dinner, uh, you got it this time. <laughs> hey, to be fair, last time we went to dinner, I think I picked up the check, right? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Dax, uh, you're BYU Cougars. I know they're near and dear to your heart. You were at the Arkansas game. You, you watched them have a tough game against Liberty. You've been in some tough times your own as a BYU Cougar. And when you dropped a 2-4 and four against USF back in 2019, but that team dug out of a hole. So... What's the key to digging out of a hole like that if, if you're BYU right now? Man, I feel, I feel for my boys uh, back home. I know how it feels. Um, but like we did in the past, I think it's just a matter of not pointing fingers at anyone. Um, always looking inward and saying, what can I do better? What can our uh, you know, offense or defense do better? And so once that happens, accountability happens, and um, – I think that, that takes steps forward for the team, and I believe this team can do that. You know? I know a lot of those guys still, and, and uh, I'm excited to see them just bounce back. Let's talk about the BYU receivers, because even as tough as it's been, it's been a real big bright spot. What do you like from the BYU receivers? Man, it's been fun, fun watching them. Um, it, it makes me uh, miss it a lot, 
but it's really fun seeing those young dudes that uh, kind of watched me as I went through my process and journey to them finally getting their shot and uh, making the most of it. And so I'm really proud of those boys, and I know they're going to keep making plays for the team. So now that you've gone through the rookie grind and you are into year number two and you've got some real experience under your belt, what's the best bit of advice you can give to a guy like Puka Nakua who wants to make the jump to the NFL? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's tough, but I'd, I'd probably just tell him that the biggest thing I learned is just focus on on yourself. Don't, don't compare uh, yourself to maybe a teammate or someone on another team because that can really get you down easy. Um, so focusing on your process and uh, just believing in yourself and that it'll all work out. Dax, we'll finish with this. You're playing against the legendary quarterback Aaron Rodgers and that franchise, the Green Bay Packers, on the other sideline. At what point does it become just another game and the aura of playing Aaron Rodgers wears off? Yeah, uh, very cool to see him. Uh, a lot of history with that team. Um, but it, it goes away, right? As soon as kickoff happens, you know, you're focused on what you're doing, what our team's doing. It goes right away. But as soon as the game's over, then it kind of comes back. You see him walking around. You're like, oh, what's up, Aaron Rodgers? You know? So, very fun. All right, for uh, what it's worth, I guess I'll pick up the check next time as well because you, you agreed to do this interview, my friend. Uh, I know I speak for everyone across BYU Sports Station. They're so happy for you and proud of you and, and what you're doing in Washington, man. Congratulations on everything. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate all the, all the Cougar love across the nation. Uh, it makes this journey uh, a lot better, so appreciate you. Let's give this man some BYU Sports Station karma, too. You cool with that? Let's do it. Give me karma. Oh, I, I need it. <laughs> Thanks, Dex. Appreciate you.